Hey guys, I'm off to Waltham Mass for a training. Um, just to let you know, the stats, I still weigh the same exact as I did last week, so no update there. Um, I had a crazy week last week. My bathroom ceiling, um, caved in. There was some water problems, water damage from the apartment upstairs. Obviously, it got fixed, uh, through the apartment. Um, or not anything that I had to pay. I also have renter's insurance, so... I guess that's another way it would have got paid but it wasn't in my apartment it was from the one upstairs so which my old neighbor was a friend of mine and I hope she doesn't get charged too badly for this because she moved and bought a house so she wasn't up there she um, paid the rent up until that day because that was the end of her lease not to break a lease so anyways that's neither here nor there so yeah crazy week I didn't get much exercise in last week maybe that's why my weight stayed the same I usually drink a protein shake every morning a couple of days I didn't do that so whatever but I didn't gain weight I just stayed the same so whatever I just thought I'd do a video anyways to update um not to leave anyone hanging I'm going to training in Waltham. I kind of have been thinking about plastics. Um, you know, I have a better job now than I did way back in the day when plastics would have been nice too. But, um, not that I'm going to be getting plastics anytime soon. I don't have that kind of money yet. But I'm thinking about it so that I have time to save money. If I do have plastics, it will probably not be until after December of 2021 because um, I'm in my master's program. I work full time. Granted, I could get the time off from work, but I don't want to take time off from school. I, it's an accelerated program, and I just want to get that done. Plus, it gives me time to work out and build strength. Um, I know a, a girl a woman, like, young lady, but I don't know, um, who is a personal trainer kind of person, and she told me that she could, uh, give me a workout routine every so often. I didn't really talk to her extensively about it yet, as I'm doing the Beach Body On Demand 100 Exercise Challenge that I've been in, and this last week's been a flop, so I think I'm going to start over last week, this week didn't exercise this morning because of this training so I'm already off to a bad start this week but I will catch up the rest of the week I'm pretty sure tomorrow morning I can do a double I mean I did two of the workouts last week so maybe I'll double for a couple days and get myself caught up kind of same thing happened around the holidays and I got caught up so I'm not really I think I'm on exercise 72 or 73 out of 100 doesn't hurt to redo if I wanted to start the 71 again. I don't know. I'm just something I'm thinking on this long, long commute. But anyways, I'm thinking about plastics. I'm thinking I really want to do it this year. This year. Not this year. This time. I think, I don't know how factual it is, but I read something that your skin holds on to your fat cell storage so one of the only ways to get rid of that is to cut it off hey maybe I'm wrong I'm not professional here but if that's true then getting rid of the skin may help me keep this weight off in the long run um also you know what I'm not very vain I don't do a lot of stuff just for me but why not if it's going to make me happy? And I've been discussing with my boyfriend. He loves me. If you don't get skin removal surgery, who cares? I mean, it wasn't even something that he brought up. I've been talking to him about it. And he's like, that could be good. I could try to help you financially to do it, maybe. But I don't know. He also knows that if it happens, it's probably not going to happen until I'm done with school because, for one, I want to be able to work out and get my body to the best it can be. And, for two, I have a lot going on. 
so I don't want to be thinking about it right now. I mean, really, I would probably say six months to a year I'd like to do it, but I'm going to put it off until after this because I have classes until August of 2021 and my classes end other than internship, but then I have to intern from like August 28th to December 15th or something like that. Well, that's going to be difficult. This car in front of me just slammed on their brakes and I don't know why because there's not a bunch of people in front of them. Craziness. Um, so I, I don't know. I don't want to be taking time off from interning or taking time off from school. So I really think I have to wait until after December of 2021. Which is probably a year and a half from now, I think. I don't even know. It is February. What is today? February 10th? Yeah, it's February 10th today. And I'm this, I'm in my fifth week of this class. There's eight weeks per class. Eight weeks with the same professor after this. I really can't wait till this semester is over. It's been a struggle this semester. Um, I got A in both classes last semester, but this this professor is harder. So, um, hoping to at least get a B. I think I can do it. I have a paper that's due Tuesday. I got all my homework that was due Saturday done, but I just couldn't couldn't do it yesterday. I just needed a day to chill and do nothing. So I didn't even start the paper. And it, which is silly because today I have this all day training in Waltham which is over an hour plus because of traffic from where I live. But yeah, I have an all day training tomorrow but fortunately tomorrow is a web training and I'll be local so I can be home and that one might be six hours instead of the full day with not extended driving so it'll give me a little time to work on the paper tomorrow and then I have until midnight to turn it in so that's the way it's gonna be because I'm crazy like that and I have I have papers due every week that's another thing except for one I have a three four page paper due every week so, not only is there a lot of reading, there is a lot of writing, and there's discussion posts every week, and this professor makes the discussion post practically a paper too. Like, my discussion post was two and a half pages long, to which I have to respond to three people. That's also part of my homework, which it's not, uh, sorry, my face is in between my eyeball. Um... It's not a big thing, but when you add in the reading in the paper, and I'm just complaining, it's a master's program. Anyway, so, yeah. It's kind of hard. I'm a procrastinator. I'm still getting used to the way these classes are, eight weeks at a time. But the other two professors, we had big writing assignments, but not one due every week. Anyways. Um, blah, 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 blah this time. But anyways, yeah. So, thinking about plastics, things about plastics in Mexico. You want to know some? I've never been out of state. Uh, out of state. Out of country. I've never been on an airplane and here I am thinking about plastics in Mexico. But, I don't think that my insurance will cover it. And, I've been watching a lot of people who have had plastics on Instagram and YouTube, and so I think that that's going to be the route that I go when the time comes. But anyways, that's not now. I just thought I'd bring it up. Maybe some of you have some insights on plastics, reconstructive, whatever. When I do it, I really want to get the arms, thighs, and my stomach. Um, maybe one of those 360 things. I don't really know how it goes. I don't know. Obviously, it would be 
a decision with the plastic surgeon. I'm not really caring too much about my boobs. But if I'm going to do all that, maybe some sort of lift. I'm hoping I could do a lift without implants because I'm still wearing a double D. So I don't, I don't know. I don't want to be bigger than a double D. Um, just maybe more perkiness. I don't know. But anyways, thanks for watching. That's all for now. I will upload, uh, I will upload this when I'm not driving anymore. Ugh, sitting in traffic again. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.